I pulled out the leeks and I've got some seeds coming up so that's really nice that I've got baby leeks coming up um, from seed from the parents and I've put other seed in so I'm hoping that it will um, grow as well turmeric out here there's a little bit growing wildly with some rosemary this one here it's doing really well now it's really tall it's probably about 10 foot tall and that's a star fruit so it should start to um, grow fruit soon just check out my strawberry patch is going crazy so it's filling out really nicely and soon we'll cover the whole meter just want to get rid of some of these oh and of course I've got some mint and scallions there got a little box there with some more strawberries and that was actually the mother I had the mother in here and then it went crazy and had all little runners the runners are in here and um, as you can see they will go down into the ground and grow roots and then you can cut them off dig them up and replant them I've just put them in this pot here because um, this one's growing roots already and then I'll move them over to that empty patch which is over there now remember those coffee flowers well, they're all beans now. So, yep, yeah, they'll be ready this year. Um, one tree did exceptionally well. Um, you've got to remember these have only been in the ground two years. So, they probably will, um, you know, take another couple of years before they're really, really giving me a lot of crop. And my other sweet potato this is a different type of sweet potato this is the hawaiian and it is a purpley um, color and a more round it has like a star in the middle um, but i use this a lot for all my greens as well it's beautiful spidey and a big web and if you look at my olive tree it's growing really tall now uh, a bit strangly, I'll have to give it a bit of a prune up. And this is looking a little bit worse for wear, but I do have a couple of apples on it. Haven't we've had so much rain that I really haven't um, fed the garden much, and I should because when it rains a lot, the actual water will wash away all the goodness out of the soil. So I've just got some more um, pumpkin here growing with my lemongrass. Of course my heliconias. Oh, it's so beautiful. Lovely red in here. Got plenty of um, aloe vera growing. A little bit of this thing. my kale is at end of season i've got this um, i think it's russian kale or black kale down here uh, it's quite gorgeous still giving me plenty to eat and here's my cardoon which is in flower at the moment you can see the beautiful flower and i should get plenty of seeds off that and it will self-propagate and come up everywhere so um, i can collect the seeds which i do do uh, but the cardoon can grow quite tall. Uh, there's also some curly kale still at the back there. And right at the back, that's my chimerick. And it's come up beautifully. It's probably about nearly three foot tall. Looking good. Got lots of babies down there as well, I can see coming up. So that's good. That's new ones forming. But yeah. Everything's at end of season, so it's a bit straggly in here actually. Um, but that's okay, just giving it a bit of a water today and yeah, giving that all some moisture. And here I've got bits and pieces in this garden. Um, 
basil which I get plenty of basil off to make pesto. I've planted some more basil but it looks like a different type of basil. I'm not even sure if I actually put the right seeds in. They look more like capsicum to me. So we'll see because there's a little capsicum. That's a miniature capsicum. It's got a red one there ready for picking. And uh, this is more or less at its, the end of season as well got the parsley there mm, okay. got parsley there beautiful really lovely parsley this one I think it's an Italian parsley and there's some cabbages growing up in there and some red um, spinach which is at the end of its season there's a pot with some um, dandelion in it. I've got some flowers on the... I'll just go round there. Let's try to get this um, hose in here. So it's not being wasted that water. That turmeric is going to make some beautiful, beautiful dried turmeric. I know it takes a while, you know, a whole year to get a beautiful crop, but um, it's well worth doing. Like that's my crop. It's not very big. It's probably a meter by a meter and a uh, probably a meter by half a meter there. A lot of sweet potato growing. I eat that all the time. This is growing back now. The guinea pigs have gone. This is a beautiful Hawaiian sweet potato here. And down here. A few flowers left. This is the society garlic. Beautiful little flowers. And when you eat them, they, they taste like um, garlic. Of course, I'm put them on the salads. But anyway, let's have a look here. I've got a few flowers on the uh, this is aubergine. A couple of flowers there. I don't know how they'll do. I don't know if I've got many bees at the moment. Give it a bit of a water. Hopefully, the water might even attract some bees. This is all dying out but I'll have to pull back some of this tree that's growing in front of it because it's um, giving it far too much shade so it's really good for kale, spinaches, lettuces, that type of thing but anything that needs a lot of sunlight it's not doing really well. Beautiful, big, huge caterpillar. Look at the size of it. I mean, it's just jumping around because it knows I'm there and it's, it's um, I've watered it and it's a bit crabby. But it's, yeah, you can see it's as thick as my finger. And um, it's probably going to start a chrysalis soon. But yeah, it's a bit annoyed because I watered it. Sorry. My Heliconia jungle. So beautiful coming out and seeing all these gorgeous Heliconias. The flowers are just glorious. Flowers are everywhere. How gorgeous are they? lovely just coming in here and sitting for a little bit 
Got lots of um, vanilla bean down there as well growing and I've got these plants sort of selling them so you know other people can have the opportunity to have them in their garden as well and they're just gorgeous aren't they I mean look at those look how tall like that is so big it's huge I just thought I'd show you and um, yeah